uh, working on machine learning and computational neuroscience project. Uh, we're trying to do geophysical feature detection with machine learning algorithms. The problems we're trying to attack is trying to compute a mapping from the raw seismic traces to the representation of geological features. So there are some previous work trying to do some automatic feature detection based on the migrated seismic images. But what we are doing is we bypass the image, the migration stage. We, we go directly from the raw seismic traces to key feature detections. The two main technologies we use are one is physics simulation, the other is deep learning. Physics simulation is kind of a forward stage where we actually use generative models to synthesize training data to help to train our deep learning model. And then deep learning uh, technologies is applied to then correct sort of the invert problems to try to detect from the traces what, is, what key features you can find in the traces. The mapping is very complicated and we need to use deep learning models in order to model it. And that requires a lot of training data, but this is very costly to actually even collect seismic survey data. So we're trying to train a generative model using unsupervised learning to generate a random synthesized model that looks really geologically realistic to help us train a model that can adapt to real data. So we're currently using a uh, a uh, package we developed is called mocha.jl. Um, it runs on multiple backends. Currently, we're using QDNN as the, the default backend. Actually, using CUDA speed up this, the training time for a typical model we use up to like 40 times. We're hoping to use this to help like human interpreters to build their models, and we're trying to move more towards 3D model and towards more realistic models in our problems. Adapting from synthesized model to realistic model, we need to use transfer learning at this stage, and we're still developing this kind of algorithm here.